Hi, I'm Mike McNamara with the McNamara Report. In this digital age, flatbed scanners are one of the most useful accessories for the home and office, allowing you to copy, edit, and share your photos, artwork, and documents in a wide variety of ways. Most all-in-one printers include a flatbed scanner, but if you're really serious about image quality or want bonus features such as film scanning, dust and scratch reduction, and faded photo restoration, a dedicated flatbed is your best bet. But which is the best deal for under $200? And should you really be paying attention to the advertised resolution specs when you make your choice? To find out, I ran the Epson Perfection V600 photo and the Canon Canoscan 9000F through a gauntlet of image quality and performance tests. The proof is in the scanning, so let's take a closer look. Inside each box, you'll find it both shipped with USB 2.0 cables, software drivers, image retouching programs, and other useful utilities. Physically, the Canon is a bit heavier than the Epson, but similar in size. Both can scan up to A4 size documents and have expanding lids for thicker arts and books. Behind the white reflector under the lid, you'll find a white LED light that both use for film scanning. Conveniently, both include film holders for 35mm slides and negatives, plus medium format films. Both scanners also feature quick scan buttons for automating common tasks. The scan to PDF buttons are the most useful and let you save scans directly into Adobe's Acrobat format. Next to price, image quality is the number one concern for most users. So how do these two compare? In print scan tests, both scanners achieved excellent color accuracy. Detail in mid-tone and bright areas was also extremely high at settings of 1200 dpi, which is the Canon's highest setting for flat art scans. However, the Epson V600 captured slightly more detail than the Canon in shadow areas. In film scan tests, optical resolutions were much lower than the maximum advertised DPI numbers, typical for flatbed scanners. The Canon averaged 2000 DPI versus 1800 DPI in the Epson, and both achieved that by the 4800 DPI setting, and not at 6400 or 9600 DPI. For color slides, Epson captured a wider dynamic range and higher color accuracy, resulting in truer colors, better contrast, and higher details in the shadow areas. The Epson also showed less chromatic aberration or color fringing along sharp edges in film scans. Color negative scans from both usually required some color tweaks since there are no film brand presets, although in most cases the Epson was more accurate and showed higher detail, especially in shadow and highlight regions. If you have old or dusty prints, slides, and negatives, the automated photo fix tools built into these scanners will improve image quality dramatically. They slow down scan speeds, but save you lots of retouching time later. For print scans, Epson's Digital Ice uses an infrared pre-scan to locate dust and scratches on the print surface, and is a far superior solution to Canon's software-based tool. As you can see, Digital Ice eliminates nearly all dust and small scratches, even the one on the arm. On film scans, Canon's Fair Level 3 also uses an infrared pre-scan like Digital Ice to locate dust and scratches, and works much better than its software-only print fix. At its highest setting, it's nearly as good as Epson's Digital Ice, removing scratches but leaving behind some small dust spots. Both scanners also include color restoration and grain reduction tools for faded prints and slides. These do a decent job at restoring original color, but once again the Epson results look slightly better than the Canon's. Both scanners offer a variety of driver layouts from beginner to advanced, with the latter including curve and histogram adjustments. Most driver settings affect both image quality and speed, so to test 8x10 print scan speeds fairly, I selected 600 dpi resolution and 24-bit color, with all extras off. This resulted in a 325 megabyte file, and I'm simulating the scan race here, which is Canoscan 9000F finished in just 15 seconds, followed by the Epson at 26 seconds. That's amazingly fast for both scanners. For the film scan speed test, I used 4800 dpi 24-bit color setting with dust and scratch reduction off. Once again, the Canon was faster than the Epson, finishing the scan at 50 seconds compared to the Epson at 1 minute 16 seconds. That's really a base time for both scanners with film. And when you turn on Fair Level 3 and Digital Ice to reduce dust and scratches, both slow down. And the Canon actually loses its speed advantage and finishes a few seconds behind the Epson. So there you have it. The proof is in the scanning. If you're in such a hurry that you can't wait a few seconds longer for print scans, or up to a half a minute longer for film scans, then the Canoscan 9000F is a good choice. However, if image quality is more important to you than speed, then the Epson Perfection V600 is clearly a better choice. It's higher color accuracy in slide and negative scans, increased detail in shadow areas, and more powerful digital ice tools for removing both dust and scratches from prints and film scans provides a much higher value.